Oh, wait. Shit. <laughs> We're doing how to take Laura Kara, so give me a moment. <laughs> Alright. So, there is a skip strat on here. Um, so, where you're going to go to the left at the top of the stairs up here. We're, we're not going to do it, but I'll show it to you. Because <laughs> generally, you want to skip most of this trash that's going to be here. So, we're going to pull these two. Or this one, sorry. <coughs> We'll keep kind of kiting a bit. Don't let, let them cast anything. This mobs wreck, especially when they get to raging. So the skip strat is normally up here. You'll have your healer invis and run to the right where that pad is going. And you, you, the tank, and your DPS, you go and you die somewhere around blue. And then your healer is going to invis down somewhere near where the boss starts. Um, ideally they'll get all the way to the ramp that goes down to the boss and just res the whole party Just because these mobs really suck on higher keys, so This is not some shit you want to do and especially as a bear because you can pull shit with thrash through the fucking floor And it's fucking dumb, but you know and they're raging so we're gonna run Because those coins fucking hurt man Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull all this, I'm going to pop an instincts, and I'm going to get threat, I'm going to get some moon fires going, I'm going to come back, I'm going to typhoon, and I'm going to run down to start RP. Because that shit takes a minute, as I'm sure you know. And bears pull a lot of fucking threat, so you can generally hold on to it. And then they're going to start coming down the stairs, so hello. And they can do that and not follow me and start dying. Ah, oh, fuck. These pennies will fucking one shot you, okay? Like they just one shotted that fucking hunter. So don't stand in them. I don't know what boss it is this week. Back up, back up, back up. No more releasing from here on out. Capiche? Capiche? Because we're sitting here waiting on this fucking mage, man. Definitely editing this out. Alright, so this fight's fucking easy. You're just gonna do your moonfire bear thing. And don't stand in big rings of fire. Three, two, one. You will hey, cool. Die. Good job, mage. I'm <laughs> lucky I did that full timer, dude. And he's not gonna lust, so I'm gonna save lust for a second. This fight is great for bears, dude. It's literally just don't stand and stuff. Um, interrupt the bubbles as you can. Get these ads down as quick as you can. Now these are about to come up when he does his RP shit that he says. Yep. Now I'll interrupt one of these. Maze fucked up my pre-pot, so cool. Just really try to burn these down first. Because these ads, as well as the other bosses that you can get here. The ads are just fucking like they'll wreck you, dude. So the mage still isn't lusting. I'm going to lust right now to push us through these ads and push us into the last phase. Always good to have drums on you in a case like that. Spread out thunder ritual. Alright, so now it's just fire and waves. Pretty easy. Just don't stand and stuff. Going top down. This is another boss where being top down is great. 
I do this on Hersia. Um, I'll occasionally do it on Atuman and Lower Kara. Why do those waves not clear the fire? Wouldn't that water, like... Doesn't logic dictate that that's what would happen? <laughs> And this is another good reason for your party to say spread right here, by the way. They did that pretty well, so that's good. And there we go. Wait here. Wait. So. This trash tends to come up from the bottom. Um, just kind of randomly. I like to take control of this. And pull a couple of them up here. Just got to peek over the ledge. Now it's going to bring three packs up, which means I'm probably going to use both of my survival instincts, which is fine, because I'm not going to need it for at least a few more minutes. <laughs> yeah, that volcano got them on their toes. Get ready, boys. Alright, so here this goes. I'm going to try to save instincts for as long as I can. I'm a typhoon. Alright, so they're all raging now. I'm gonna roll instincts. Start rolling this, start rolling this. Shouldn't need a second one, so that's just perfect. What a beautiful pull. This is what I do. What I've been doing, hoping that Blizz is gonna fix this dungeon. But now it's just my strat. It's not like me doing this until. <laughs> That's just the strat now. You generally will need more trash by the end of this, so it doesn't hurt to grab everything on the side. Not everything, but grab things on the side as you're going through. Poetry slams, stay away, drop stuns, interrupt, typhoon, whatever you want to do. Incapacitating roar, great. Just be careful where you use it, obviously. Especially in here. I'm, how, how am I doing for you? Yeah? How we doing? And see, now we walk through and this is just empty. Always nice. If we wipe, I'll show you where you're going to run if you die. If not, um, it's just left at the entrance, but I'll show you later. Either way. Um, so we're just going to do this. We're going to pull them all. And I'm going to show you how to counter this a flashlight. It's called Typhoon. So Typhoon, these guys. It can be disoriented and Typhooned. It can't be stunned. And I'm not going to use Roar in this fucking room. <laughs> so Typhoon does the job. And helps your party kind of not have to deal with that because somebody always looks at him as you saw the mage got hit he had to use his fucking cooldown but you know it's fine this trash is easy do not pull any of these other packs ever by the way with the attendants and the servants like what this guy just did or was that my moon did my moonfire proc when i was targeting them that's wonderful So, and dude, I'm sitting over here. Hey, so we wiped. Beautiful. So I can show you this. All right, so when you release, that's where you went when you started. You're going to go left, and you're going to come down here. And this does give you a tiny bit of extra percentage. Um, it's a great little shortcut. So down there is Morose and all that. And that's where we're going over there. Just got to pull a couple mobs right here. To be a couple more right here. And I'll go ahead and pull these two. Just to get them out of the way.
Mm. Careful with targeting in your moonfires. <laughs> so shit like that doesn't happen. But yeah, so that's where you'll walk back. If you die on Morose, you can just walk back across the way there. Where we walked in and just hop down into his room over there. Pretty easy. Uh, great little pathway. So we'll get this down. I'm going to pre-pot and do a big ass fucking pull here. I'm only 954 on this character, so don't think I'm like pulling everything into the fucking room. I'm gonna roar, give them a brief moment. Come on, dude, get in here, fool. Get in here. What are you doing, man? You just gonna sit back there and just pull everything? <laughs> I already pulled everything, bitch. It's too late. Watch the shield smash from the guards that are at the door and the hostesses. Cast that Banshee Whale, which is something you do not want to see. I'm going to use my other instincts because I'm not going to need it. Staying away from the shield smashes. You can see it on the ground. It's perfectly fine to pull this room pack by pack. I just am over that. <laughs> And I, and I know what I can handle, so. This character's 954, nothing crazy. You can do it too. You just gotta use, save. Use your cooldowns at the opportune moments. Like, don't use it in instincts as you run through there because things are only gonna be hitting you here and there. There's no reason to use it early. Don't get scared, just keep on moving. Uh, alright. I'm gonna tank this boss in the middle. Hopefully they will drop their shit on the sides. Um, the only thing you really gotta worry about here is uh, try to avoid being hit by this sacred ground until you need it. Holy shock. Puts a stacking debuff on you that increases your damage taken from holy shock uh, by a lot. And it hurts and you don't want it. So make sure you're... There you go. Did you get... Shaman got that perfect. Now when she casts a Mass Repentance here in a few moments, you only need a quick moment of this. Like, you literally just step in and step out. Like, I'm going to show you right now. You just real quick. I got the dot on me. Burn this shit down. I just... Uh, interrupt Holy Wrath and GG. That's it. How to tank Maiden of Virtue. Easiest boss in the whole dungeon. Unless Holy Shock doesn't get it. Like, dude, one stack and it hit me for almost half my health. And increases my damage taken by 50%. Okay, not quite 100, but still. That's, that would be like 75 to 80% of my health. So not good. I got that one since he got the last one. Um, especially if you're not going to be in comms. Um, using your interrupts and adjusting your own outside of what your melee is currently doing. Cool. So like, if you don't establish who's going to interrupt first for pretty much the whole dungeon uh your shit's gonna get fucked up a bit so on the first cast like on that boss i'll wait until like the very end so i can still hit hit the cast if i need but it's also gonna give somebody else time to hit that um and then either i'll generally know what they're gonna do Or if they're just being weird, then like, either way, just pay attention to how your melee you're interrupting and when. So you know if you need to adjust your own. So things aren't being wasted and you and or other people aren't dying. Especially on a week like this where it's raging. Grim, what up, man? We doing a how-to tank day. You can jump off from the other corner over there. But I like right here. Because then you can jump right in between the both of these, pulling both. 
Use a little bark skin. Just because it's raging, it's the only reason to use bark skin. Well, and because my cloak is fantastic, but. You know, don't let the waiters get away because they're gonna pat into you during the boss. The mob that's marked with an orange right here. The waiters pat through the boss, so if you don't kill him before you pull the boss, you're gonna get him during the boss. And he's nothing real serious, but it's just like one more thing that you gotta deal with. And there's already a lot happening on this fight. So you don't really wanna fuck around too much. Saving my cooldowns. You, you missed a low. <laughs> Dude, there's more to come. Don't worry. And I'm going to post these on the channel after. So That's why I restarted the stream. Avoid any copyright issues with Spotify. These ads don't really do anything, by the way. They drop things on the ground and things on other people. Just don't stand in it. Easy. Um... I don't trust these guys to less than burn. Skull. So we're gonna trap Darius so he's not doing his blade storm shit. Or CC Skull, because you're a genius. Thank you. There you go. Alright. Alright, so it's a bad order to CC him, but it's fine. Drigger's not going to do too much. Whirlwind, it's not going to do a lot of damage to you. Uh, neither will Willbreaker, by the way. They're both very physical, very easy to mitigate as a bear, obviously. And the mage isn't lusting again, or the shaman, so I'm going to lust. I try to. Uh, this guy is the most dangerous to your party here. Because the Willbreaker, people love standing in it. And if they have their graphics real low, they're not going to see it. Um, so, so you can get double fucked by that. I'm going to interrupt Mana Drain. He's just going to throw out a Ravager. And I forget what else he does at the moment. But it's nothing real uh, detrimental. This bitch does Mana Drain, which would drain all the mana from your healer. And does a decent amount of damage, I think. Point is, you never want it to go off. When Baroness is up, she is your one and only focus. Morose isn't really going to do a lot to you during this fight. Like the, the only people that are really going to hurt you is if you get comboed by things. So like if you stand in a Willbreaker and the dude like doing a fucking whirlwind. Like combos here suck. But individually, two or three at a time, these guys aren't a big deal. You just gotta know what they do. Be ready for it. The mana drain is really the only thing that'll wipe your party. Besides, um... Uh... The will breaker. On the, on the, only because, like, it just fucks your healer. And this dude does physical damage, so it's nothing. He's getting near death, so I'm gonna start pulling him over here. To where we're gonna be moving next. Anything you can do to reduce time spent walking is fantastic. As you know, I'm sure you've all had a lot of keys that have been like within a few seconds or 10 or 20 seconds. Keep that in mind for times where you like, I'm not saying to like constantly be criticizing yourself, but just be aware of yourself and like what you're doing, what you, like where you could have maybe saved some time or whatever like I'm gonna show you how to save some time on some percentage here in this next room this next room also has the attendees the attendants and the retainers which are the ones that heal and do a lot of um, a lot of shadow damage you don't want to fuck around with them so we're gonna pull just individual stuff I'm gonna pull these guys and I'm gonna pull these guys and I'm gonna pull these guys and those guys. <laughs> Jesus, pull all the tiny packs in here. Just be careful not to pull anything extra with it. And it's just free, easy percentage. Get that shit out of the way. The horses, 
man, like, the damage these guys do is so easily avoidable, like, it's ridiculous. Like, they, they do a charge, which you can also interrupt. They do the stomp, or no, sorry, you can interrupt the stomp, not, not the charge. But the charge, you see the direction, and the cast is like five fucking seconds long, so it's like super easy to avoid. Uh, doing larger packs in here, if anybody in your party bitches, just tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't stand and stuff. These guys do a shield smash with stuns, or just a smash. I've got my ar artifact up, so, you know, whatever. My artifact is now down, and they are raging. I'm gonna Typhoon, keep throwing Moonfires out, refresh my flask. Perfect. Repair right here, real quick. Why not? Now, we're, we're gonna pull these, and then I'm gonna save my artifact. Pull these next two packs together. Dude, your artifact is so fucking strong, brother. Alright, so if you are not doing large pulls like this when your artifact is up, you're doing it wrong. Um, we have what is, in my opinion, and the opinion of others as well, besides the group heal, um, the leech from the DK artifact, our, 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 our artifact is the strongest in the game as far as what tanks have. <laughs> I should have waited for it, but I didn't. Alright. This is actually good. So, I'm going to show you how to reset this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reset him. Because this is just a fugly pull. All you, all you got to do is pull him to the top of the stairs. Not even the top, because you don't want to pull the archers. If he just comes like halfway up, I'll stop right about here and he'll reset right there. Uh, all caps, solo soaking, shared stuff. Don't stand in it. Okay, fam. I don't have my survival instincts ring, so we're fucked anyway. Whatever. Because I'm not on my main. <laughs> Barks, er, instincts might be off cooldown in time to soak the second one. Here's the hoping, right? <laughs> He's down. Saving all of my cooldowns. We're gonna use Bark Skin now just to help keep our health up before it. Then I'm gonna Artifact and Instincts to Shared Suffering. And well, uh, man, this sucks without lust. Alright, so the horses here spawn in relation to where the boss is. It's not based on the middle of the room. Wherever he is, is where they're gonna spawn off of. So that mage that was standing right there is not smart. Like, stay somewhere near him. Because the horses aren't ever gonna spawn directly on him. They're always gonna be on the sides, around the room. See what I mean? I'm sorry, Tommy. I was waiting for the horses to die down. I burn this bitch, dude. I've got instincts. Probably shouldn't have wasted the bark skin right there. Uh, healer CD, please. On suffering. Four, three, two, one. Oh my dude. Too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. Perfect. It's just beautiful. Alright. That's it. Always solo soak shared suffering. Um don't use instincts leading up to this boss. Um, if you use an instinct near the beginning of Morose, that's fine. But don't, really try not to use it near the end of the fight so you can have both of the charges up for this boss. 
And that's it. That's Lower Kara. And I was in the wrong loot spec. Fuck. Because this place drops a Thrash Relic. Great tanking. Ah, oh, thanks, fam. So, yeah, that's Lower Kara. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's a good run. So, another thing to look at at the end of this here. Um, really try to look at the end of your runs. L look at your total damage done and your total healing done. Just have a look at what's happening with what you're doing. So look, like, I'm thrashing. Thrash did a little more damage than Moonfire. Um, mainly because there's more, more larger pulls here. And with Thrash's additional chance to proc, that makes sense. Usually you want Moonfire to be on top. Um... Brambles in a dungeon should always be kind of up there. If it's not, you're not using it enough. That's an ability that, especially if you're using Survival of the Fittest, uh, a cooldown that you pretty much want to use off cooldown. Don't just, like, throw it away. But just, if you pull a pack, use it. Like, just, just use it all the time, okay? Don't waste it. Because then the talent's going to waste, and if you're not going to use it, may as well go back to Guardian. Um, my opinion on that.